Did you know that Canva has thousands and thousands of templates that you can use in your own creations? Now, a few days back, I came out with a video all about how to get ideas for your planner interiors and your layouts for your planners. Now, one of those ideas was using here within Canva, their templates. And within that video, I had a fair few people say that they had no idea that Canva had all of these templates. So in this video, what I'm going to do is give you a quick rundown of Canva's templates and show you just how many they actually have. Now, to get here, first of all, you need to go to canva.com forward slash templates. Now, what I'll do is link this down in the description so it's a little bit easier for you to come and check out. Now, from here, they actually have lots of little tabs up here, up the top of the page. So you can click on Halloween, Christmas, Fall, Food, Diwai, birthday, Thanksgiving, and as you can see, they have lots of different categories. Now, if we take a look on the left-hand side as well, this is where all of the templates are. So if you click on all of the templates, you can come through, have a look, which we'll do in a second. Then they also have business, and business is broken down into all of these categories. Same with social media. If we click on there, you can do Instagram posts, Instagram stories, covers, ads, and lots of great stuff. Now, if we do that and have a look, they also have lots of templates for videos, for Facebook videos, video message, mobile videos, and lots more. And also for marketing, custom prints, cards and invitations, and also education. Now, if we go back onto all the templates just here, we can also see just here, they have recommended presentations, the social media, videos, print products, and more. Now, if we scroll through here, we can see some of those templates. They have popular topics you may like, inspired by your last design. So if you're already using templates and layouts here within Canva, it's going to show you more templates inspired by your last design. Now, for this example, with me, it's lots of to-do lists and things like that. Weekly planners, to-do list, planners. So this right here, inspired by last design, is going to be unique to you. Now, if we keep scrolling down, we have trending near you, new in Canva. They also have whiteboard, presentations. Now on each one of these, you can click right here on the arrow, keep looking through, or you can click on see all, and it will show you all of the templates under that category. So if I clicked on here, see all, it would show me all of the presentation templates that I could potentially use. You can also do logos. So they have lots of different templates here for lots of different types of logos. If you're looking to create a new logo for your brand, you can actually use these, change the fonts, change the things around to make it a little bit more unique and then bam you have a logo using templates like these just saves so much time now if we keep scrolling down they also have templates for instagram posts flyers resumes so if you're here in the uk that would be a cv then posters certificates brochures letters newsletters, Facebook posts, stories, reports, desktop wallpapers, and also YouTube thumbnails. So as you can see, there's a lot of templates that we could potentially use in our own business. Now, one thing I do like about the Canva templates is that they also have a search function just here. Now, I've already got a few different templates already opened in a new tab, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, if you know anything about me or you've been subscribed to the channel for any length of time, then you know that I create and sell low content books. A low content book is a book with little to no content inside. So think of notebooks, planners, colouring books, 
books of these nature. Now within Canva templates, they also have notebook templates. And if we take a look here, there's 968. Now to get here, all I did was went to the search function, typed in notebook, and then went to see all just here. And then that brought me to this page. Now, as we can see, there's lots of different templates that we could potentially use. Now to use them is very, very simple. All you have to do is click on them and it's going to open in a new tab. Now, one thing to note is that all of these templates aren't free. Some are free, which you can use within the Canva free subscription, and the others are for only pro members. Now to filter through these is pretty simple. If we look just here, there's a little crown just here as well. When it has that little crown and it says pro, that is for pro members only. So you can't actually use that. If you only have a free Canva account, you'd have to use one with no crown on. So if we take a look here, this has no crown, this has no crown. So these what you could potentially use with no Canva subscription. Now, if we click on one of these, then click on customize this template it's going to open in a new tab and this is where you can start customizing so you might want to keep this you might want to get rid of it we can click on here and actually change this so let's change that to black let's change that one a little bit darker and let's do that one a little bit lighter so it's grayscale kind of black and white let's do that one so we'll do that we'll do this then we'll do that. And now we're getting somewhere. Now with these, all these fonts can be changed. Now I have a Canva Pro account, which means that I can go and purchase fonts, upload them here in Canva and use them in my designs. So all of these just here, uploaded fonts, are all fonts that I purchased. And I can use them in combination with this template to make a really nice design. So I could use this one. That doesn't look very good. So I could use something like this instead. I quite like that. So now let's change this one to that as well. And then I could go through and change that as well. This looks a little bit close together. So what I could do is go on to the line spacing, not the line spacing, sorry. It is, let's do that again, letter spacing. And I could just make that a little bit bigger so it's a little bit more spaced out. There we go. I could also change that to black. I could change this to black. I could change that to black. And then I could change this background a little bit lighter than the black so we can see it. There we go. And then I could go through and change all of these as well. I could change that to black, change this one to black, and I could change the rest. I could remove this in case I didn't like it, but this is just how easy it is to customize the templates here within Canva. And remember, there's so many different types. We can take a look at notes, you know, notebook templates. And again, there's over 986. If we take a look at planner templates, there's actually over 11,000 of them. And if we take a look just here, we could find the ones that we like, go through, change fonts, change colors, and customize them until we have them looking how we want. Now, again, this is just a time saver, and it saves so much time rather than having to come up with the layouts. Now you can do this for planners. You can also check out worksheet templates and look just here. There's over 11,000 of them as well. And you can also do coloring book templates. Maybe coloring page would have been better. So let's type in coloring page. Let's go to see all. Yes, that was a lot better. So now we could go through here, take a look get some ideas and just make our designs a lot more pleasing on the eyes and a lot more easier to come up with layouts for your designs. Now you can also filter down these even more by looking here on the left hand side under filters. 
So the top one, we have the categories. We don't need to touch that. But then there's also style. So we can check out minimalist, modern, simple, elegant, creative, and minimal. Then if we scroll down a little bit more, we can check out colors and also the theme as well. So don't just use this for helping with low content books because they have templates for absolutely everything. So let's say you are a low content book publisher and you want to publish books like planners, notebooks, and things like that. You can come through, use these templates, customize them to get them looking how you want. But if you come down to logos, then you could also create a logo for your brand. So if we click on here, let's go to customize this template, we could then put in your brand name just here. This is this is Claudia, so you would want to change this, or Claudia, however you pronounce it. But we could put in our pen name just here. So let's say your name is Lily Pretty. Just make something up on the fly. And then let's just put Publishing down here. Now with this we can play around, we could make that a little bit smaller, make that a little bit bigger, we could move that over to the center. We could also play around with this as well, we might not want that color, so we could do these colors instead. Let's just do that one too, a lighter one of them, so let's just go over to there like that. Let's just move this up so we can move that one down, so there we go, then we could have that like so, but then we could also go through and play around with the fonts. Again, using these templates within Canva just saves so much time. And again, you can modify these templates and make them really unique to you so that no other people has that exact template. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.